Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Vidyut Yoga. In this video, we will study about current divider rule and voltage divider rule. So before starting the video, those who are new to this channel, I request please subscribe this channel so that you will get updates about latest videos uploaded on this channel. So uh, we will start the current divider rule and voltage divider rule. We know that whenever we are going to solve any electrical circuit at that time while doing the theoretical calculation we need to use current divider rule and voltage divider rule so first of all what is the current divider rule as the name suggests current divider rule that means current get divided into two or more elements for example if we consider the resistive circuit then we know that current will get divided in case of the parallel resistance and here if we go through this diagram it is clear that in this diagram the total current is get divided into two resistances that is the resistance R1 and resistance R2 make sure that whenever we are going to apply the current division rule at that time that uh, circuit should be such that the total current, current get divided into two resistances only like here i1 and i2 is the current flowing through the r1 and r2 if there are more than two resistances then we need to convert that circuit in such way that total current get divided into two resistances only so for that purpose we'll discuss later but right now we'll consider this circuit in which total current get i get divided into i1 and i2 which is nothing but current flowing through the resistance r1 and r2 so what is the use of the current division rule whenever the total current get divided into two resistances to find out the current through each resistance or through each element we use the current division rule for example in this circuit the current division rule will be used to find out i1 and i2 if we are having the idea about total current i okay so what is the formula so whenever we have to calculate the current through the any one resistance for example current through the r1 that is current through the r1 suppose it is denoted by i suffix r1 then formula is it is equal to total current which get divided that is total uh, i into opposite resistance through which find out we have to find out the current for example suppose we have to find out the current through r1 here we have to find out the current through the r1 so opposite resistance in which current get divided that is r2 upon sum of, sum of resistances in which current get divided so here current get divided into two resistances r1 and r2 hence it is upon or divided by r1 plus r2 so i repeat current through the r1 that is i r1 is equal to total current which get divided that is i into opposite resistance through which i have to find out the current that is r2 upon sum of resistances in which current get divided that is r1 plus r2 okay same formula when we have to find out the current through the r2 that is current through the r2 is nothing but i suffix r2 is equal to total current which get divided that is i into opposite resistance through which i have to find out the current here i have to find out the current through r2 so opposite resistance is r1 upon sum of resistances in which current get divided that is r1 plus r2 okay so this is the simple formula and how we can recall this formula the total current which get divided into opposite resistance through which we have to find out the current upon sum of resistances in which current get divided and again i repeat whenever we are going to use the current divider rule make sure that total current get divided into two resistances only okay now voltage divider rule so what is the voltage divider rule of course voltage divider rule is used to find out the voltage through individual element when the voltage get divided and we know that voltage is uh, voltage is always get divided in case of the series circuit so so uh, here for example we if we consider total applied voltage is v and r1 and r2 are in connected in series then total voltage v is divided into two voltages 
that is v1 voltage across r1 and v2 voltage across r2 so in such case to find out the voltage across any element we use the voltage divider rule so similar to the current divider rule here is also condition that the total voltage should be get divided into two voltages only that is uh, sorry two elements only like like here two resistances only that means these two resistances uh, should be connected in series and total voltage should be get divided okay now what uh, about when uh, the there are uh, number of resistances are connected in series at that time you need to convert that circuit into the simple equivalent circuit in which the voltage should be divided into two elements only like two resistances only for resistor circuit so as we had discussed the voltage divider rule in this circuit will be used to find out the voltage drop across any element suppose i have to find out the voltage drop across r1 that is v sub x r1 is equal to what is the voltage divider rule total voltage which get divided or total supplied voltage v into the element through which uh, across which we have to find out the voltage drop for example here i have to find out the voltage drop across r1 so into r1 upon sum of resistances or sum of elements in which voltage get divided so it is r1 plus r2 so i repeat voltage across r1 that is v sub x r1 is equal to total voltage into uh, resistance across which we have to find out the voltage drop upon sum of resistances in which voltage get divided so upon r1 plus r2 similarly what will be the formula for voltage drop across r2 it will be vr2 is equal to total voltage v into resistance through which uh, across which we have to find out the voltage drop that is r2 upon sum of resistances in which voltage get divided that is r1 plus r2 so this is the formula for vr2 so what is the uh, how we can recall the voltage uh, divider rule or formula for voltage divider rule so voltage across any element is equal to total voltage which get divided into uh, the element uh, across which we have to find out the voltage drop upon sum of elements or sum of resistances in which voltage get divided so in case of the current divider rule actually total current i into opposite resistance upon sum of resistance in which current get divided whereas in case of the voltage drop total voltage into the resistance across which we are going to find out the voltage drop upon sum of resistances in which voltage get divided okay i think formula is clear then how to recall this formula that concept is clear now we'll see one simple example suppose i have to use the current divider rule here okay in which the current is total current i is equal to 10 ampere is get divided into i1 and i2 where i1 and i2 are nothing but i1 is the current flowing through the resistance r1 having value of 5 ohm and i2 is the current flowing through the r2 having value of 10 ohm okay so how we, we can use the this formula for current divider rule we know that suppose i have to find out the current flowing through the r2 current flowing through the r2 so what will be the formula current flowing through the r2 is nothing but total current which get divided that is i into opposite resistance through which i have to find out the current so uh, what will be the opposite resistance for this r2 r1 so into r1 upon sum of resistance in which current get divided that is r1 plus r2 so it will be i is equal to 10 into r1 is 5 ohm upon R, r2 is 10 ohm so r1 plus r2 is 5 plus 10 so 3.33 ampere that means we can easily find out the current flowing through the r2 similarly we can uh, easily calculate the current through the r1 now regarding the voltage group uh, voltage divider rule we know that what is the condition voltage should be get divided into two resistances only so here there is one simple circuit in which total applied voltage is 10 volt this voltage is divided uh, this voltage suppose it is get divided into the two resistances r1 and r2 which are connected in 
series okay which are connected in series uh, here you can consider that this 10 ohm and 5 ohm are connected in series so vr2 is equal to total voltage v into r2 upon r1 plus r2 that is 10 into 10 upon 10 plus 5 that is 6.636 volt here make sure that uh, don't get confused actually this r1 and r2 should be connected in series r1 and r2 should be connected in series like this and 10 volt is the voltage across uh, total supplied voltage okay then pr2 is equal to v and r2 upon r1 plus r2 that is 10 into 10 upon 10 plus 5 that is 6.6 volt now there might be the question in your mind when the, the current is divided into more number of resistances and we have to apply the current divider rule what we will do for example here the question is find the current flowing through this 5 ohm resistance and the circuit is like 8 ampere is the supply current and there are 4 resistances in the circuit like 10 ohm 4 ohm 5 ohm 3 ohm but what, the, what is the question i have to find out the current through the 5 ohm resistance so as i have already given information that whenever you are going to apply the current divider rule make sure that current get divided into two resistances only so in this case what we will do we will convert this circuit into the simple equivalent circuit in such way that the current get divided into two resistances only so we always keep in mind that whenever we are going to solve such circuit while apply, uh, while calculating the equivalent resistances always solve the circuit from opposite side of the source so here source is on the right hand side so try to uh, solve the circuit from opposite side of the source so 10 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series so what will be the equivalent resistance 2.8 ohm and that 2.8 ohm will be in series with 5 ohm so equivalent resistance is 7.8 ohm then this 3 ohm resistance and supplied current from the source is 8 ampere now our condition is fulfilled that 8 ampere current source is get divided into two parallel resistances having the value of 3 ohm and 7.8 ohm so what is the current flowing through the 5 ohm that is current flowing through of course one uh, few part of this supplied current will flow through the 3 ohm and remaining part of the current will flow through this 5 ohm resistance so here ohm current flowing through the 5 ohm resistance is nothing but current flowing through this equivalent of this part so what is the equivalent of this 7.8 so we can say that current flowing through the 7.8 ohm is nothing but current flowing through the 5 ohm so how we can calculate the current flowing through the 7.8 ohm so here we will apply the current divider rule so current flowing through the 7.8 ohm what is the formula is equal to total current which get divided 8 into opposite resistance that is 3 opposite resistance through which we have to find out the current so here we are interested in finding out the current through the 7.8 ohm so 8 into opposite resistance that is 3 upon sum of resistance in which current get divided that is 3 plus 7.8 so it is 2.21 ampere and what will be the direction of current of course current is flowing from right to left so it is sh shown here in a uh, on upper side that is right to left okay that means current flowing through the 5 ohm is nothing but 2.21 ampere okay similarly whenever there is voltage divider rule we need to apply we can convert that circuit in such way that the res uh, voltage get divided into two resistances only that is two resistances should be connected in series then we can apply the voltage divider rule i hope the concept is clear so uh, again i request those who are new to this channel please subscribe the channel so that you will get the updates about latest videos uploaded on this channel okay till then bye bye thank you happy learning